So we just discovered that your ISP, what? aka Internet Service Provider, spies on while watching him. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell yeah. no. And pretty much anything else you do on the web. So what do you do? Some of you homies gonna tell me, yo, just use incognito mode. I hate you back to your bottom saying, but incognito mode don't do shit. It just leads to your boss in history and that's it. Which means your ISP can still see what you're doing. Oh no! But don't worry, homie, I gotcha. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the wisdom that the anime gods had enlightened me with and got you to the two way of the hentai delight. Let's get started. Keep in mind that this guide is a Weibo edition, a friendly light edition. In other words, super dope and easy to apply. Oh, yeah. Feel free to skip to the video, the timestamps are in the description. Simply put, using a hypervisor grants us the ability to make virtual PCs inside a real PC. So basically, you can have like 10 PCs working perfectly inside one real PC with real hardware. Wow! I know, like, it's really fascinating. Like, bro, we're gonna make a, like, bro, bro, we're gonna make a virtual PC made only to watch hentai. You know what I'm saying, like, like, bro, I love this shit. The Brave browser is by far the best friendly privacy focused browser out there. It's easy to use, open source, work out of the box. You just need to tweak some stuff for extra privacy, and you're good to go. Wait. Unlike Google, DuckDuckGo offers much more privacy. This means that the GES hacker duck doesn't collect your data and track, uh, track you when you search. It doesn't associate uh, what you look for online with your IP address. And that's what we want. The easiest way to understand what a VPN does is the following. Think about it like this. A VPN is like a middleman that does what you want to do on the web on behalf of you. This means that when you visit a hentai website, they won't know it's you because the middleman aka the VPN is the one who visited the, the website on behalf of you. So they will lock the IP address of the VPN server and not yours. Also, your ISP is going to be having no idea what you're doing except for the fact that they will know that you're connected to a VPN server and how much time you spent on that VPN server and how much data you're consumed. So basically, you're almost invisible. Yeah, yeah. VPN got a weakness and is a DNS leak. How to prevent this leak? Well, it is easy, home. Just change your DNS server from the ISP one to Cloudflare or OpenDNS. Yeah, because sometimes when you're connected to a VPN, a DNS request might not go to the VPN tunnel but rather to the ISP DNS server, which will expose you as and the website you're in. And we don't want that to happen. <laughs> and now we're done with the brief explanations of what we're going to use. So we pull up to the steps provided by the anime gods. Let's go! Pull up to the Windows 10 official site using your favorite web browser, download the Windows 10 tool, then run it and press on yes. Wait for a few moments, don't read that shit and slap that accept button. Wait again for a few moments, choose the second option, create ISO file and press next. Press next again and choose ISO file. And you're done. Wait for it to finish downloading. Type VBOX on your search box, then invade the first website and download the X file, run it and follow the installation steps and you're done. When you're on the hypervisor, you will see this interface, slap that blue star button, name your PC, hentai, PC, or I don't know, anything you like, choose the location of your PC where it's going to live, then choose Windows 10 64 bits version. Side note, to use a 64 uh, bits version, you will need to enable virtualization on your motherboard BIOS. I won't show you how, cause it differs from one motherboard to another, so you know what to do. Look for it yourself. Next, choose how much RAM you want to give the hentai PC. Never surpass the green area, cause you will be in a danger zone there, but I'm saying. I will go with 4 GB, then next, paste on create, keep it on default and paste next, another next, choose the, the, disk, the disk size, give it like 60, 70, 80, you know what I'm saying, it's your choice homie, then create and boom, you have a PC now. But before we start a PC, we need to change some settings, go to settings, system, disable floppy, then go to processor, give it some cores but never leave the green area, go to storage and add the ISO file, go to user interface and disable showing for screen, and you're done homie. Press on start and install Windows 10. After you installed Windows 10 and downloaded Brave, go to Settings, Shields, choose Advanced, View, Aggressive, and Strict. Pull out to social media and disable all that shit. Go to Privacy and Security, disable WebRTC and Brave built-in spyware. Go to Security and choose Always Use Secure Connections, HTTPS. <laughs> Open Brave, pull up to settings, search engine, choose the DuckDuckGo, then go to manage search engines. Delete everything there except for DuckDuckGo. Ah! 
Go to settings, privacy and security. Security enable use secure DNS and choose open DNS or Cloudflare. Wake up. Okay, look, homie, I tried many free VPNs out there, and the only two that works for me are Proton VPN and Windscribe. Proton VPN is open source, but the other one is not, so I recommend to use Proton instead of Windscribe. Like, uh, do your own research and decide which VPN you want to use, because it doesn't really matter. We're only watching hentai and not inserting any personal information to the VPN server. Download the VPN and connect to it, and homies, this is the most legendary moment of the humankind. Now we can watch hentai anonymously, but first, we need to test our VPN connection with RCC leak and the DNS server. We pull up to browserleaks.com and as you can see, this ain't my IP address, homie, I'm saying. No whip RTC leaks and my DNS requests are not using my ISP DNS server. Let's go! Sheesh! Now, my fellow intellectuals, degenerates and men of culture, with tears of happiness in my dirty eyes, I can say, fire up your browser, open your favorite hentai website and enjoy. The fuck are you still doing here, homie? You know what I'm saying? This is the end of the video, nothing here to say. Thank you, homies, for watching the video till the end. It means a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? I love you all. And no homo, of course, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know, watch your type. Stay positive, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I catch you in the next one.